my dad is a scientist and uh, and a mad scientist, some would say. <laughs> but he's a, my dad's a scientist and and he's a very smart guy. And he once said, basically, he looked at me and he said, "You're making a very good living off of something that should be treated." And I was like, "Wow!" And he was like, and he was describing how. I mean, really, comedy, a lot of comedy is making these neural leaps that shouldn't happen. They're illogical, you know? They're, there's, if you looked at it, it's these, uh, we're trained to have logical neural leaps. And yet, when you sit around in a room and, you know, since 1985, actually, in college, since 1982, pretty much full time, I've been trying to think of what's funny and weird. Yeah. And so just thinking weirdly, I've trained my body. I mean, I think my brain naturally wanted to do that. And then it's just been what's so, and that's how I wrote it. Saturday Night Live with the Simpsons. It's thinking incorrectly. Right. Is funny. Well, so like, see, Martin always said, oh, I study philosophy because it just screws up your thinking. Just about. yeah. Yeah. And, and it's basically, it's the same idea. You want to think, um, you know, uh, one of the first sketches I wrote for Saturday Night Live, well, the first ideas I ever pitched at Saturday Night Live was a uh, uh, a professor uh, who's uh, like an anthropology professor who's afraid of the skeleton in his lab. You know, like, <laughs> and, and it's when you think about it, it's an illogical idea. But I just love the idea of a guy very straight. You know, it's just the the lab skeleton hanging yeah. next to him, and he's lecturing to a big room. And I, I forget who actually. Uh, I think John Lithgow ended up doing it, but I, I wrote it, uh, and it's just you know a whole class there of university students listening and you open up and he's there and the skeleton's hanging there and he's not looking at it he's just gesturing and he just says the chibi of course is the uh, is the thickest and most uh, densest of the bones with a seven centimeter you know uh, flange at the top which is uh, uh, there to support the weight the tibia is made of a calcium depository which as you can see ah! oh yeah oh god and then it's reaction shots of the students sort of you know and him going oh yeah oh and then he recovers, and then the whole joke is, anyway, the ribs, there are 16 ribs total, eight on each side. They are joined at the spinal column. Uh, it's the, uh, they form in a ridge, which is called the parisi. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah! And he gets just as scared each time. And I loved it, and then he goes to the dean, and that was uh, Phil Hartman, and the dean is like, so the skeleton's scaring you. Like, yes, I'm terrified. And he goes like, what if you went for a smaller skeleton that was less scary? And then you, you see the transition, you see him lecturing, and there's a little rubber skeleton that you see hanging in the window, and he gets startled each time. Oh, oh. And that still isn't good, and then the, he goes back to the dean, and the dean is like, what if you tried dressing up the skeleton as something that was less threatening? <laughs> so then you see him lecturing, and the skeleton's got a pirate costume on. And he's like, the mandible is, of course, the thickest region of the bone where... And he looks at it, and he goes, the pirate, because pirates make him laugh. And then the dean comes in to check on him, sees the pirate, and goes, ah, pirate! And then it ends with uh, them, one being happy, the other being scared, and... Uh, but I, later on, I remembered Al Franken. I pitched that, and Al Franken just came up to me and he said, "Why? Why did you think of that?" Like he, which was, to me was a big compliment of like, "Oh, it's a weird yeah. thought yeah. to have." Well, and, Senator Franken, I... yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, future Senator Franken, everyone laughs. Uh, right, Al Franken for Senate.